Good day and welcome to another edition of Al Salatini, where we will be looking at the race meeting today, the 2nd of April from the Fairview on the turf track, where we have got eight races on the card. Before we look back, I just want to touch on another subject. Um, I want to remind everybody that the preview video for tomorrow and the selections will only be for subscribers, as this is a major meeting. And on major meetings, I put a little bit extra effort into the video discussing more horses per race. So the video is normally a little bit longer, but that gives um, my members a better insight into the horses and my selections. So you can describe now on or before the 3rd of April for 400 rand for the month or normal price 500 rand. And then you'll receive selections till end of April. Then there's a long-term package that basically gonna cost you 200 rand a month instead of the 500 rand for 1,200 or you can take a weekend package from Friday today to Sunday for 150 Rand. You can WhatsApp me on 083 So let's move on to the racing today. We will kick up with a maiden juvenile plate in the, in, in the first race. And as you know, uh, I can't do form analysis on, on, baby, on baby or juvenile races and juvenile plates. So we will pass the first race. Uh, we will pass the first race. But what I want to do is I just want to discuss with you um, the betting on the on the first race. It's seven to three, seven to twenty Safari Blue, six to one Mars Mary Gold, Constellation Goat eight to one, and Adult Secret seventeen to two John Paul ten to one Master May twenty five to one and Senior Duke thirty three to one. And guys, I just want to warn you that this is the first long distance. It's going. 1400 meters. Some of these horses is going around the bend first time. Some of them has run over a thousand meters or so, which might have been too short. And, and where the 1400 meters will probably suit them better. So I want to please uh, advise you to please be careful on taking odds of 7 to 20 uh, on, uh, 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 on, 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 on in a baby race. So while we're here, let's have a look at race number two, which is the um, over 2,000 meters, and the betting is as follows 16 to 10, uh, Calendra 7 to 2, Seeking Wisdom, Green Dragon 5 to 1, Orphan 6 to 1, Princess of Fire 7 to 1, 8 to 1, Onesie, and 16 to 1, Duchess of Bourbon. So let's have a look here at the betting of, on the form of race number two, where my first selection is the number seven horse, and that's Princess of Fire. I really like this um, uh, uh, Louis the King filly. She she really runs her heart out. Has won over this um, distance, score, over this distance, three runs and two wins. I haven't won on the turf yet, but I, um, the, I mean, she ran on the turf uh, two runs, uh, uh, last three runs, the last four runs was on the turf, and she did run a place, and she uh, also ran against some useful opposition. Um, so and with only carrying uh, forty nine and a half. I'm sure number seven, Princess of Fire, is going to make them run. Then for outsider selections, I've, um, I'm looking at number six, Hawthorne. Hawthorne already also have got course and distance, one run, one win, has won twice over this distance, and certainly a horse that you can't discard. Number six, Hawthorne from the Alan Cleave stable, who have a number of runners in this race. And also you can have a look at number one, which is the favorite, Cal Calendre. Also, also, that has been running against some uh, good opposition, American princess has actually managed to beat American princess over this distance, but on the poly, now running again on the turf, but has had two wins over the turf, course and uh, over the distance, three runs, one win, and certainly a worthy favorite, uh, Irish flame filly, which the distance will not be a problem for. So let's move on to race number three, which is a juvenile plate for fillies over 1,200 meters, where we have another short price favorite, which is number one, Miss Nibbles, 15 to 20, Sweet to Sound, 28 to 10, 13 to 2, three, Fearless Lady, twice to uh, even 12 to 1, Jet Bombers, 14 to 1, Jungle Promise, 20 to 1, 20 to 1, Girl with the Sword, 66, one out, and Scratch number two, all things. I would think today, because of the nature of the pick six, very difficult today, that uh, a lot of horses will be, um, a lot of people would be uh, looking to bank at this number one, Miss Nibbles. But now, if you have a look at Miss Nibbles, um, 
And as I said, I don't make a selection, but I just want to advise you. Ms. Nibbles did win one, one well. Um, and But you have this first time a year, number eight, Swedish Sound. And these Ravives, they seem to be able to run a little bit. I remember Amazing Grace, if I'm not mistaken, was trained by Alec Baird, was also a very good horse. So this horse, number eight, well bred and can certainly make his peasant fail. Now, what I will do is I will include a first timer because sometimes it happens that the first timer wins and you think, okay, I'm going to play Miss Nibbles because even if the first time wins and Miss Nibbles ran second, then I'm going to have the, you know, I'm going to still be in the pick six. But I have seen in the past that when you do that, sometimes the first time it win, and then for some other reason, the um, the favorite doesn't ran second, he ran third or fourth, and a, and a, a longer price always ran second. So therefore, I've included in my pick six number three, fearless lady, just for such an event. If the favorite, uh, if the first time it wins and the favorite ran second, then you double up, no problem. Or even if number three ran second, you're gonna double up anyway. So let's move on to race number four, which is 1,200 meters uh, over, over 1,200 meters maiden plate. Now, before I want to carry on, uh, people, I just want to say to you that this car today is extremely difficult. There's really not any really, really good bets on this card where you can say, listen, I can put the money down and I've got a, re a relatively good chance to, to win. So my advice to you will be keep your money in your pocket, man. Wait for tomorrow. It's no use trying your luck on, on horses. I mean, that. I mean, we got fields here, 15, 16 runners. And my advice is stay away from this car. Take the day off. Enjoy the time with your family. Do something else. Just take the day off. And because I can tell you now, um, I went through this car and I found it extremely difficult to make selections today. Because if you have a look at the card, in each race, these five, six, seven runners, that can win that race. You know, it's not like when sometimes when I do my selections, you get this one or two horses per race that stands out. And that is not the case on today's card. So my advice to you is uh, try and just take off the day. But let's have a look at the betting here. Here we have, again, as you can see, four to one the field. Number three, perfect display, four to one. Roy Boss, four to one. Showtime, baby, four to one. 10 to one, step it up, baby. Pearl Dancer, 12 to one. Cut Glass 14 to 1, Carola 14 to 1, Gold Alley 14 to 1, Golden Spring 20 to 1, and longer the rest. The year in race four, my selection for the uh, my first links outright selection is number three, perfect display. Coming from um, Cape Town, it's a trophy by a rich man's gold, me, well bred, has run a nice second year over 1400 meters. When leading and just got run out of it by Wave Crest. And always four or five links behind. Now, being four or five links behind in Cape Town definitely puts you in the picture here in PE. And I think perfect display today. Danny de, Go, uh, Danny de Gouveia has had four rights for Zitzman uh, for two seconds. And maybe he can go one better today. And my outsider selections is as follows <coughs> Number eight, um, Step It Up Baby, another Zitzman station. He might coming from Cape Town, has run a few places and certainly can be involved in the finish here from draw 10. Uh, just keep in mind that it's a straight course. And then number nine, Pearl Dancer, uh, has relocated from Gauteng, has had one run here, ran fourth behind Red Advisor. And I think today is ready to run a very good race here in race number four. Pearl Dancer, a byword by Blackman and Loose Me. Nicely bred as well. Has been placed there in Gauteng one or two times. And um, maybe the, the distance might be a little bit short, but uh, was running on last time out. So I think the extra 200 meters will suit. And you can also have a look at number five, which is Showtime Baby, Captain of All by Jetmaster Mir. Um, also a, a horse that has been placed um, mostly on, on the poly. But I don't think the horse will run a pro, have a problem running on the um, on the turf as she ran two races ago, 1.25 behind the enemy jeans. Um, so I think Showtime may be also a horse with ch a chance. Then we move to race number five. Race number five, a very, another open maiden plate over 1,600 meters. Here the betting is as follows. Number one, Dirty Martini, Even Money, Shades of Blue, 11 to 2, Cyclone Jack, 10 to 1. 
10 to 1 gold global cash, Kings 4, 10 to 1, 14 to 1, Chirac, Purple Founders 16 to 1, Hukum 2 to 1, uh, 16 to 1, Sophia's Jewel 20 to 1, and Mount Grace 20 to 1, Wensminster 40, 40 to 1, Scratch number 6 and number 9. So here in race number five, my first selection is the favorite, but I must tell you, I probably won't be taking even money on the horse because certainly even um, having Cape Town form, this Cape Town form was a bit scratchy, running in and out. So definitely not a type of horse that you would put your, your house on at even money, but certainly has, has got some uh, here, there's some a bit of form in Cape Town, but uh, definitely not a certainty to win this race. I did found there's some um, two nice outsiders in this race, and I'm going to scroll down to them. And that's number tw the first one is number 12, Sh Sh Sophia's Jewel. Sophia's Jewel has been running five links, six links behind. And I've just got a feeling that um, running on the turf today for the first time, this horse is going to improve. Futuria by Eredor Mir. And I'm looking for huge improvement for number 12, Sophia's Jewel. Um, definitely including all of your play. I think this horse has got the potential to um, a, a, a surprise. I see sometimes she's slow away. I'm sure that the trainer is working on that problem. And I would think if she jump, she will be a contender in this field, number 12. Then here's number 13, Scirocco. This guy, this horse has what one run, never showed behind, but I'm telling you, I'm giving this horse purely on the breeding. A Silvano out of his a jet master mare, um, definitely I think number 13 can improve do include don't get um surprised if this horse wins certainly i think um uh, uh, is better than his first run and also we're going to have a look at number five um number five is um cyclops Cyclo jack uh this horse ran well um two runs three runs back behind terrero four links behind scottish primlos last time over a little bit longer behind I'm a featured now bringing it back over the shorter distance and I'm sure this is going to suit this horse um, it's definitely going to suit this horse um, hang on a bit I'm a bit confused now it is a 1600 meter sorry over the same distance but I'm sure this horse is this horse it's a wily all by charge forward me has got the ability to stay the distance um, yeah Let's move on to race number um, Sophia's Jewel. I just want to make sure as she has run five links on, a, on over the 1600 meters. Now, definitely number 12 and 13 is definitely horses that can surprise, do include in all of your your, your play. And we have the, the six race over 1400 meters, a medal at 74, class D, average medal at 70. Here the betting is as follows. Very open race number two, Gold Rock 3 to 1, 92, Moon Game 6 to 1, Danilo, Sila Lal 10 to 1, Mew Grande 12, 10 to 1, 16 to 1, Promotious, Deep River, uh, River Women 14, 16, Better Days 14, Atkinson Grinshaw, Final Assembly 20 to 1, Sweet Karma 20 to 1, 25 to 1, Uncle Charlie, and Longer the Rest. Now, guys, my first selection here, and when I saw, I had a look at the horse, and then I had a look at the betting. And I nearly fell off my chair. And I saw this number 11, Uncle Charlie, 25 to 1, and I couldn't understand why. I thought it's going to be about 10 to 1. This horse is relocating from uh, KwaZulu Natal, where he ran against some fairly opposition. Uh, he's now running in a D70, but has run in C division 76, 73. Um, his rating came down, up down from a 73 to a 64. Here he ran in a 1,200 meters, running on from behind, 24.6, fastest 400 to finish, to finish ran on well. Um, because hard to play, very good horse. Spring Fling, a very good horse, has run, I think, has run three of one, uh, has, run, has won quite a number of races. Um, this horse was off for a, a long time. Uh, and now coming off a rest of 187 days, but I've seen Duncan McKenzie bringing horses from a long rest, and certainly they didn't need that, that that first run. And I'm thinking that this is the type of horse with the form here, African Sunrise, you see, and Tarzan. This horse has run against some decent opposition in his time. Uh, Jason Gates has rode him once, 
when he ran behind Spring Fling. Um, and that was the C Division 76. And I think this horse can be the, the surprise of, of, of the party here. There's certainly not a horse you're going to put your, your money on, but at 25 to 1, you can have your 50 bucks each way. And if the horse, even if he plays, you'll still be, be in, in the money. So definitely, I think 11, Charlie. Uh, I mean, I might be totally wrong. The horse come, might come in last, but then I would advise you follow with the horse because I've seen lately um, what I've mentioned, what I've seen that I, sometimes I give a horse and then he doesn't doesn't win, and then two or three races later I don't I don't follow the horse and then the horse wins. So that's certainly a, a make a note of that. In my other selections in this race is number four, which is Daniela. Um, um, Grief and Shane the combination. This horse has won um, uh, two races over 1,200 and 1,600, but never over the, never over the uh, 1,400 meters. But surely if you can win over the 1,600, shouldn't have a problem with the 1,400. And has been running on constantly, ran on well in the last two races. So certainly number four, uh, Danilo, uh, contender in this race. And then number eight, my other outsider selection is number eight, C. La Lyle. Uh, this was one uh, course and distance last time, four runs, one win and two seconds. Um, but from the row 11, will make it a little bit harder, but surely the horse is in form and need to be followed. And then I want to touch on number two, uh, which is the favorite gold rock, Tara Lang, uh, jumping from the row 10. Um, has had three seconds in a row, certainly diverse, uh, you know, deserve, deserve to be the favorite. Has run behind Regimental and the stronger division in the 81. So, certainly a good candidate. And then we have here number one, but number one is jumping from draw 13, Mew Grande. Otherwise, if it wasn't for the draw, would have had been, you know, I would have probably stepped up first or second. But also, all that you need to include can always surprise number one, Mew Grande. I certainly at this stage don't have it in my pick six, but if you want to play it a little bit bigger, you can maybe add Mew Grande into your pick six. Then we move on to the next race, which is a pinnacle plate over 1,200 meters, or over 1,400 meters. And here, the betting is as follows. Number five, Flame 3, 5 to 2, Golden Chance 4 to 1, Sailing Ship 9 to 2, Luna We 6 to 1, Water Spirit 6 to 1, Princess Kalisi 6 to 1, 25 to 1, and longer the rest. Now, when we work with pinnacles, we look at a base weighted, and currently the base weighted is numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. A one, two, three, four, and six. But my selection is number five, which comes from Cape Town now, having his first run here in, in, in PE. Now, number five, Flame Tree, you'll see currently has a merit rate of 89, but used to have a merit rate of 96, I think. Um, might have been even higher. I just have a look here. What they say, uh, number five, highest merit rate um, of 97. There's always used to be a 97. And now it's 89, 97, 89. Yeah, so has come down in, 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 in the ratings and has run in, uh, consistently against better horses. The average better rated for this race is a B88. As you can see, she's run in 90s, 100s, 91s. Um, two runs back, ran against Elusa Forge, and that was a future race, the Jamaican, J Jamaican handicap, and certainly. Um, only ran six lanes behind. So I think number five, Flame Tree, ready to give a good account of herself, despite not being 100% in with the weights. In for my outsider selections, I'm going for numbers one, uh, which is the best weighted Princess Khaleesi. She also ran course and distance, four runs, three wins from this distance. Um, is the best weighted currently in the race, so certainly must have a chance. But it do seems not to be the stable elect to win the race. And then the other horse I'm going to look at is number four. Which is golden chance also doesn't seem to be the stable elect, uh, as the stable elect is Alan Greer's horse, um, Greg Shane. And also, here he's got four golden chance, who has been running there and thereabouts, and certainly also in with a chance number four, golden chance. So let's move to the last race, which is another open race. Um, it's, it's a mid rated 68 handicap class E, average mid rated 61. So let's have a look at the betting. Number nine, Mujutsu Magic, three to one, Elegant General, six to one, Pega de Oro, eight to one, Rock the Cock, six to one, Call Me Out, ten to one, Dairy, twelve to one, Angel Bouquet, twelve to one, Toretta, twelve to one, 
wagon midnight 14 to 1 was the cracker 14 to 1 16 to 1 and better the rest and here in this region my first selection is number seven angel bouquet angel bouquet has been running against a uh, decent opposition um and uh, a 74s and a 70 64s today running in a 61 um was placed in a 62 did win a 64 uh, earlier two links behind varsity but one varsity but born as a, as a specialist over the thousand meters at Fairview uh, Cliff. And last time I was just run out of it late. And I'm thinking that today, you know, uh, and I was also bumped at, at the start. I think seven um, Angel Bouquet today, again, ready to run a huge race. You know, another horse that I want, my outsider selection is number eight, Call Me Al. Also the first run from Cape Town. Uh, did win his maiden over a thousand meters. And then after that, didn't do much. The best, uh, uh, the his second last run behind Woods of Your Oyster, Woods, Wood, Woods Your Oyster, was his best, and then ran over the 600 meters behind Katak. Um, yeah, this horse comes off a very long race, 398 days. Um, but yeah, maybe you know the, the race did him good. They originally paid 475,000 for this horse, so this horse must have been looked like a race horse. So definitely number eight, call me out, although coming off a huge rest, a long rest, certainly I think can be involved in a finish. He has a stable companion, um, uh, Mujicha Magic, which is a favorite. Um, yeah, can also, has done nothing wrong in his last four runs, can also be involved in a finish. And then my other outsider selection is number 16. And that's Rock the Cock. Uh, last time out ran on strongly 22.7. Over a thousand meters, a thousand two hundred meters will suit. Ran on well. Definitely a horse that you need to include in all of your play. Number 16, Rock the Cock. So, Rock the Cock. That brings us to the end of our preview. I hope I could point you in the right direction for a few winners. And as I always say, break a leg.